Hello fellow airplane collectors, welcome back to another video, it's your host Ray. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Gemini Jets Delta Airlines Boeing 757-200 in 1-2400 scale. Uh, I just got this model today and I know it was released a while ago, but uh, I found this at a ridiculously good price on eBay and I just had to get it. And I ordered it and due to complications with shipping and the current world's well the current situation in the United States that is probably what is to blame for this taking so long to arrive. I ordered this in early September and it just came today. So um I mean I guess that's not exactly that good but at the same time I don't care as long as the model got to me in good condition which it did. That's what matters. Uh they shipped these things in pretty much mint condition except a few um issues on the box just a few like scratches here and there or i think i actually did that myself but either way they're in almost mint condition and the models themselves the model itself is in really good condition so let's open it up um so yeah, i showed you the box art already here's this side yep and as you notice for those of you that are not new to my channel i am actually doing this review on my airport mat uh yeah, I just finished it today, and there'll be a video about that later on as well. So let's open up the model. Oh, I forgot to show you this inside part. Um, here's some information about the airplane and the model. So if you want to pause it and read it, feel free to do that. But I'm not going to wait too long because I don't want to waste too much time. So let's extract the airplane. Covering off, and here is the big reveal. So here's the model. Uh, right now the blue parts look almost black due to the kind of light that I'm filming this under. Uh, but trust me, the, the blue colors are absolutely perfect. Uh, they're just the right tone and honestly, I wouldn't change anything about it. So yeah, here's the model. Overall, it's pretty cool. Uh, I've actually been dying to get this model or a model like this ever since I was a child. I, oh, I'd always loved uh, Delta Airlines Boeing 757s and now I finally have one. So <laughs> that's pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, let's start up with the review. First, we'll start up at the front of the aircraft. I'll try and get all, all the details in as best as I can. Just keep in mind the quality kind of degrades itself as I zoom in more. So there's that. Oh, for a sec, I thought the thing stopped recording. So yeah, you can see the uh, cockpit windows, the SkyTeam logo right next to the L1 door, and the Delta logo, which looks absolutely perfect. Um, there's another side right there. Moving up to the wing, you've got the two overwing, overwing exits, the uh, Pratt Whitney engine, I'm not sure what kind that is. Uh, Overall, it's just pretty, it still is pretty good quality. Um, yeah, there's your exit markings. The wing is perfect. There's no paint issues. Uh, here's the winglet. The other side of the engine. And as we move to the back of the aircraft, you see the Wi Fi box, right? Well, the Wi Fi dome right there. And the tail registration, which is November 551 November Whiskey. Uh, and of course, the rear emergency exit door. Now, up to the tail, there's the Delta logo and the, the numbers 5651. There's that right there. Um, yep, here's the tail. Nothing too special there. And the other side, we already went over the first side, but just here's the other side. Here's a good look of it. And yeah, uh, let's do the, uh, let me show you the bottom. Okay, oh, hold on, I was trying to adjust the zoom. So this is the bottom of the aircraft. I'm just gonna hold it this way. It's pretty cool. The uh, Delta logo is kind of impaled by the display stand hold, but uh, I'll be honest with you, I really don't care about that. Uh, and of course, the uh, Gemini Jets logo, which is a little bit smaller than usual, which I absolutely like. Uh, other than that, this model—I mean, this model is almost perfect. Uh, 
the front wheels, the uh, front wheels here, they don't roll, which, I mean, that's understandable for what this model is. I honestly don't care too much. Uh, the rear wheels do roll. As you can see, they're made of rubber, and I'll show you right here. They roll quite fine, but just keep in mind, this is a display model. It is not for children, and my the uh, left side landing gear here actually came broken. Part of it was snapped, and it was barely hanging off by a little thread, like, how can I do this? Like this part right here, it just had snapped clean off almost, and I had to glue that. Uh, but otherwise, it, it wasn't that big of an issue, and I got it fixed, so that's what matters. Uh, yeah. So as you can see right now, the 757 is parked at a parking space. Uh, right now I'll show you what the uh, Gemini Jets jet bridges look like with the, uh, well, par I guess, how can I say this, connected to the airplane. So I'll put number one right there and number two. Oh. Shoot, one of them didn't extend. There we go. This one's kind of a tough cookie. Okay, if I don't crush the engine. There we go. After like three minutes of trying to get that to fit on there, I got it to fit. Uh, that was an issue with the, the uh, jet bridges, by the way. So overall, it's a good fit. Uh, I'll unhook the camera and show you from above. So yeah, there's the fit. Uh, pretty good model overall. I would highly recommend buying it if you get the chance to. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description where I bought it from and try to get it as soon as possible because that is an amazing deal given that this model is an older one and it's just not in stock anymore. It's, um, yeah, who knows when we'll get another Delta Airlines 757. But uh, yeah, that's it for the, re the review. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay tuned.